I'm over here looking like a prince video, but <laughs> just because this whole area is under black lighting, maybe, or like, I don't know what it is, but <sighs> I don't have Lucifer rays in my veins, so I'm probably not lighting up like that right now. I'll just leave it at that. But I went to this game. I had to work it because I need some money. And it was Nashville versus Austin FC. And um, the Nashville lights were very nice. Some of the Austin nights, you know, getting a little competitive, that kind of thing. Um, but just some of the things that these people say to each other is just, I can feel it getting in my spirit. Like it was really weird. Like these Nashville lights started chanting <laughs> these crazy chants. Like it was definitely giving me psychological manipulation vibes like you're not going to make it you're nobody <laughs> like like abusive ex-boyfriend vibes and um it just made me sick to my stomach like literally like i felt sick after it because i'm just like why are people saying these things to each other just so they can win a soccer game it's so stupid it's really dumb like the whole idea of sports just based on competition and then um I don't know, some dude was, he was on the Austin team, and I didn't specifically hear anyone say anything to him, but then he looked towards the Nashville lights and was like, oh, so you're not going to the playoffs, huh? And it was condescending because even though the game tied, Austin is still going to the playoffs, I don't think Nashville is, which is interesting because I'm like, the game's tied, but I don't know how the whole thing works, so, um, but yeah, I mean, that whole sphere of the competition can cause so much detriment to people. If I'm feeling it in my spirit and they're not even talking against me because honestly, I'm not from Nashville. I'm not from Austin. I'm from Columbus. I don't even watch the Columbus crew like that. Uh, so, and I went to Ohio State University. So if anything, I'd be more invested in what Ohio State is doing than what, you know, these pro football and baseball and soccer teams are doing. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It was just really peculiar. I, I've never, and maybe I just haven't paid attention but I've never heard a team use psychological manipulation like that to me it seemed like almost ritualistic these people coming into the stadium and they're all booing one another and I don't know it was just really peculiar it definitely seemed like a ritual um really sad to be honest because there's just greater things in life to be done uh, and one of the ladies was talking about how there's such a community Austin is such a community oriented place you know people are willing to give to the homeless and you know, which is weird because I spent so much time in Chattanooga and even though there's a, there's a church on every corner, like there's still so many homeless people. There's not so many. There's, I think they counted like 300 homeless people in Chattanooga. And considering the fact that the church in Chattanooga is like 170,000, you should be able to take care of 300 homeless. But for some reason, it's not taken care of. But everyone talks about the community aspect in Austin. And even though it's a very liberal city, they do try to operate concerning community. And so they help one another out. But she was talking about how a lot of the people coming from California and from Texas they don't have that mentality they're very individualistic and so they just they don't believe in helping other people out to the extent um, that Austin is used to so very intriguing because this, you know New York and California are very liberal states as well but they they don't have the community aspect down like liberal Austin so quite interesting but yeah I don't know I think sports are just a distraction meant to keep people in a mindset of us versus them mentality um when the truth of the matter is the most high he creates separations and they are not by what we think they are like a lot of people talk about race of course um to yah there is the israelites and then there are other nations and lots of other nations you know and nations living within nations and those are what he really considers races not ohio versus michigan so anyway something to consider you guys be blessed bye